All right, for section six, we have a mix of problems. I'm going to help walk you through the first three, and then I would like you to pick one that you feel like was difficult for you. So these ones are very similar to each other. So if you understood that one, maybe don't do that one again. These ones are similar to each other. So if you had a hard time with this one, maybe try this one to practice and get better at it. And this one is similar to this one. So if you feel like you understand it, don't just do the same thing. Try a harder one to get better and grow, okay? So this one here tells us that a customer wants to store a surfboard in a storage unit. The surfboard is seven feet long. A small storage unit has a volume of 150 cubic feet. So we know the whole storage unit. We know the height of it is six feet. If the length and the width are equal, will the surfboard fit into a small storage set shed? So we know the total is 150, and we want to divide that by six. So when I take 150, I can hurry and throw that in the calculator, is 25. But it tells me, so that's the base. The base is 25, but it says the length and the width are equal. So that means that something times something, and they have to be the same number, equal 25. So, I mean, I know that four times six is not 25, but it couldn't use four times six even if it was 25 because they're not the same. This number has to be equal to this one. So once I know the length and I know the width, it wants to know, is the surfboard going to fit in that storage unit if it's seven feet long? So tell me what you think about that one there. Okay, so next one says that Jason constructs a tower with wooden blocks. He used 200 blocks. Each block's edge measures one third of a foot. The blocks are stacked 10 high. So we know we have 10 high. We don't know how wide, we don't know how long, and we know how big each cube is that he used. What are possible measurements for the length and width of the tower? So it doesn't just want to know what are possible length times width of how many cubes he used. It wants to know if each one of those is one third, how long is it? So let's just start with our cubes. He used 200 blocks and they're 10 high. So if I take 200 and we divide that by 10, we get 20. So something times something have to equal 20. It doesn't say that has to be the same like this one. So something times something is 20. The first thing that comes to my mind is four and five. Four times five is 20. I could have used two and 10. I could have used one and 20. But so 10 high, so it's four wide or four long, five back, 10 high. So four times five is 20. 20 times 10 is 200. So we've used 200 blocks here, but it wants to know measurements. So if I have four of these and they're each one third and another one third and another one third and another one third, it wants to know how long are those together. So I have one third, one third, one third, one third. I have four thirds so a possible measurement would be one and one third feet. So I'm gonna let you try this one here, right? So I have one third, the cube is one third, but I have five of those, one third five times equals what? So one possible length is one and one third, and then you tell me the possible width there, five one third cubes. So, right, we just had to find how many cubes. So we figured out our cubes, but then it wanted to know how long the cubes are together. Okay, this next one says a rectangular prism-shaped aquarium measures six, six feet by four feet by three feet. If it is filled up to 90% of its capacity, find the volume of water. So we know what the whole thing is, but it's not filled up all the way, right? There's usually like a little bit at the top. They don't fill so it doesn't make a big mess. So let's start and find the aquarium. So six times four is 24. I have three of those, three 24s. 
not plus, I keep doing that, is 72. So my total is 72 cubic feet. And I only want 90% of this. So this is the whole thing. So I'm actually going to, no, that's fine. I'll leave it there. So, right, this is the feet cubed. That's my total, total. I'm going to even write that to remind myself that. And I want 90% of that. That is the total. I'm looking for what is 90%. So if you dig back into your head, we have learned about percents this year. What is out of 72, right? Is of, this is the total. 72 would be 100% of the way filled up. We're only at 90, so we need to do 72 times 90 and divide it by 100 to see how much it is filled up. And it is going to be feet cubed still. We're just not filling up the entire thing. Okay, so I want you to maybe think about which one was maybe a challenge for you and see if you can repeat that process on your own. And if maybe a couple of them were, maybe try a couple of them, right? It just says at least four. You don't have to stop at four, get smarter, do your best.